adding in the new queen ant. No, 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 what is happening? No! Oh no, the fighting was back again! The Harpeg Natas Venator Ant Colony surprised me and immediately took my heart. But as quickly as I fell in love with this awesome species, I saw that the most important member of the colony, the queen, was dead upon arrival. This left me with a truly terrible feeling. So when Ant Antix sent me this message right here, I just saw your Harps video, that sucks man. Poor girl, but don't worry, I got you. We have an extra colony we can send. I became a very happy man. With a big thank you to Ant Antex, I was suddenly looking at a brand new ant colony with so many thoughts in my head. How was I gonna merge this colony? Should I merge this colony? Luckily, I had already planned a merging plan. Now it's very important to know that not all colonies can be merged together. I didn't know that Harpic Nassos could be merged until my last video and I read the comments section together with talking with a few clever people who all pointed in a way of you should be able to merge them. There was only one way to test, by adding in one worker. But before we could add the worker we needed to go into the test tube and grab a worker. Luckily these ants are very aggressive and it wasn't hard at all to get one out. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I know these ants can jump and they sting and they are aggressive. So I knew I just had to take my tweezers towards her and she grabbed on and I was able to put her in the outworld of my main colony. Oh man, this really did not feel right. Sending an ant into a potential death trap. Definitely not a good feeling. She walked around wondering where to go. What was this new place and did she really sense another ant colony? Faster than I was prepared, she ran straight into the nest. But as I was ready to record her, a roach or something spooked her and she was suddenly reversing into the nest. But it did not take long before the workers from the nest sensed that something was wrong. A worker was slowly starting to walk towards the exit of the nest. Suddenly they were very close to each other and I held my breath as the first worker walked straight towards the new girl. Phew, first touch looked good. The new worker didn't even seem to sense that there was a worker behind her. But that didn't last long as she turned around and in a hunting manner she walked straight into the nest after the other workers. No, no, no girls, don't fight. In a state of confusion, the new girl turned and left the nest again. A minute later she once more returned with some tense eye contact with the other worker. My heart was in my throat. But suddenly, they both went into the tube together. Um, was this successful? I don't know. I mean, on one hand, there was no aggression shown. But on the other hand, was I ready to risk the life of another worker? I mean, I guess so, because they didn't attack each other. The following day, another four workers were adding together with three larvae. My original colony did not seem to know what to do with these larvae and they ended up feeding one larvae to the other instead of going out hunting. But officially we had five new workers added without any problems. Together with the viewers of my livestream on my extra channel and all of our extra, we all decided to add in the test tube with the remaining workers and the new queen. What had I just done? Would this be the death of my new colony? Well, only time will tell. As I removed the cotton, a worker immediately rushed out from the test tube. How would the different workers now react if they met multiple workers outside? Well, 
As the day went on, I saw one by one worker entering the nest without any problems. Had it all been successful? Well, I hoped so, and by night, I got the chance to remove the test tube in the outworld. And with that being said, I went to bed thinking that everything was successful. But thank god my fiancé wanted to go out and pee, because I took one more look at the Venator colony that stood right here. And I was shocked to see what I found. No, 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 what is happening? No! The queen was fighting a worker and it looked like she wasn't winning. No, 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 man. I started panicking and sweating and I really didn't know what to do. Was I about to open this nest and let all of the workers get out to rescue this one queen? Oh man, I didn't know what to do. I felt my heart was beating and I just looked at these workers killing each other and I mean, I know, no, I could not risk the life of this queen. I had to get in there. So I took my Allen key out and prepared myself to unscrew the nest. I mean, look at it, man, look at it. The queens were getting stung by the look of it. I had my heart in my throat and I took my Allen key and I was prepared to get it over. But suddenly the worker took the queen and walked over towards the nest entrance. And I saw my opportunity to just disconnect the nest with the outworld, take my tweezers and go in and grab them. As they were both trying to sting each other, I quickly got them in a box, took the queen, put her in the outworld and looked at this killer. What was I gonna do? with this new worker. I only saw one thing, and that was to kill her. As I've heard that Harpic Nathos can choose a new dominant ant, a worker that will become the Gamma Gate, and she will start laying infertile eggs or fertile eggs that will become males. And I thought that this worker right here would be this dominant worker. So I didn't see anything else than killing her. And Although it never feels nice to end a life, I was sat there thinking, is it over? Will I have to do it again? And uh, wh what shall I do? And before I started thinking what to do, I saw that the queen had entered the nest once again. Please queen, survive. I got to think that maybe I shouldn't have put her back in the outworld had I just doomed her and made yet another mistake. I wished for the queen and followed her closely. She slowly came through the nest, but she didn't look good. She looked very sick. No, no, no. Had she really gotten stung? I watched with my heart in my throat as she met the first worker. Signs of some aggression, but she looked to be all right. But suddenly, Five workers were around her. Oh no, this did not look good. And they looked very angry at her. But so far they just looked tensely at each other. But with an attack the queen started stinging another worker and the- Oh no, the fighting was back again. I immediately took out my allen key and started opening this nest because I couldn't let this queen die. I don't know what would happen, but I could not let her get stung. As I took the allen key, I followed the wall closely as the queen and the worker battled for supremacy. And I was just thinking, what if she gets stung? I can't handle it. And I just started with my Allen key to open it. And to be honest, I was a little bit more aggressive to hopefully shake off the fighting, but no, she stopped fighting and she just began again. I don't know why she took up this fight. I was hoping she would go with the peaceful way, but she weren't. The stingers were flying and even though I was shaking the nest trying to open it, they just kept fighting. As I was opening it, the queen suddenly ran out of the outworld. And I could get some breathing again and I just closed off the entrance of the nest. I could not let this queen go in there again. Not only would I risk the life of the queen, but I couldn't stand commenting to Aunt Antic saying the queen didn't make it because I was dumb. No, 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 no. So I grabbed the test tube and I put her in the test tube, closed the test tube and prayed that she hadn't gotten stung and I went in and went to bed again. The next morning I looked at the queen once again. <sighs> she had made it 
still looking straight into my soul. Ah, what a relief. Ah, she had made it through the night and with this in my mind, I had a new plan ready to start. One thing I knew for sure was I needed to get the two larvae back. Not only that, I also needed some workers. I wouldn't dare at the queen again, but I sure wasn't gonna let her found all over either. Man, if I just hadn't merged them together, I would just have had a colony with 15 workers or so, but now I had to open the nest filled with Harpignathas workers. You can think about it all that you want, but I had a new plan and I already knew I needed the larvae. And the only way was to get inside. Although I did not like the thought of this, it was the plan. Opening the nest and the ants were quick to run out and get around my little box. By the way, I made like a little plastic box that they couldn't escape, so on that behalf I could pick a little bit around with them. My plan was simple. Simply rescue the gypsum block and move it into a new nest. But as I tried grabbing the gypsum block, it was a lot more stuck than I initially expected. With the thing of a jumping ant suddenly stinging me, I kept trying to go in and remove the gypsum block and no! Suddenly the middle was broken. I was not gonna stop. I had to get this block out because I simply did not have a spare one, so I went in again and tried getting it out. Suddenly the gypsum block holder got loose and I was able to go in and get the block out. With the fear of getting stung, I relocated the block into the smaller nest and afterwards removing the workers who were still in the nest. And with that, I now had a new nest only with a few larvae inside. Now as I didn't know if they were gonna go out and hunt or what would happen, I decided to add a little pre-killed roach straight next to the larvae because that way I hoped they wouldn't eat each other and they would eat on this roach. And then it was time for the queen. She wasn't too happy getting into the nest, but in my second try I got her in and I was able to screw two of the screws down into the nest. Now the reason I didn't put all the other screws in were simply because I wanted to be able to get the lid off and get the queen out if anything were to happen. With the queen inside, it was time for something I really didn't like. It was time to once more add a worker. She was in and I looked in fear as the two met each other for the first time. The queen showed some aggression, but it looked like they accepted each other. I hold my breath with this small first success and decided to add in the second worker. Now this worker were a lot more aggressive and they both immediately started showing aggression towards each other. But they seem to only acknowledge each other and not yet fight. Now with this I decided to wait a little bit before adding in the next worker. As I wasn't sure a fight were gonna break out. And if a fight were to break out, I wanted to be able to rescue them. After around half an hour, I did decide to add the next worker inside. Unlike before, now it seemed like the queen was a bit relaxed and the new worker definitely wasn't happy with the new one coming in. And the worker attacked the other worker. No, 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 stop it. But I think it was a confusion attack as she quickly stopped again. But with that in mind, I then added the next few workers over an hour and carefully watched them before adding in the next. Could this actually work? All I know is suddenly I was left with five workers and a queen all inside the nest with no real aggression towards each other. I decided to give them some peace and return a few hours later. As I returned, nothing had really happened by the looks of it and I decided to put all the screws inside and lock the nest once again. Now this sadly was a very shaky experience as I had to put the screws in and everything and I think it triggered something in the queen. She suddenly lost her cool and attacked another worker. No, not again! Ah, oh, what do I do now? Do I unscrew the lid, go in and grab the worker or do I leave them to fight? I was in a limbo stage and I just looked at them for a while. I followed the fight closely, but it seemed like it was a one-sided fight. I retook my breath as it seemed like it may be a dominant showing rather than an actual fight like yesterday. It didn't feel right, 
but as they fought inside the nest, I kept screwing the nest together, keeping a close eye on the queen's behavior. I found it weird that she was deliberately starting the fights. Didn't she know that this could kill her? Or maybe she just didn't care? This is really where you can see the primitiveness of this ant mind. And after following her, I'm sure that she was also the fight starter in all the fights yesterday. You couldn't believe how relieved I was after 24 hours in pain. From the queen getting attacked till the queen being in a new nest with five warriors where she seemingly just showed dominance. I finally took a big breather and calmed myself down. I knew that as the workers she kept biting and dragging around didn't fight back, she had a good chance of survival which was very nice for me to see. Now as I followed the queen fighting, suddenly something caught my eye. The two larvae were now feeding on the roach I had given them. Suddenly I was just looking at the larvae feeding and the older workers were looking back into my soul. They are just such an crazy interesting species and after now having played with the ants with my tweezers, I have gained a lot of respect for them. Although they are very aggressive, they also know when to move back and when to just play it quiet and stand still. I was right back in love with this colony and watching these larvae eat, I just couldn't wait to see them grow. Although they do now have a big pile of old infertile eggs, um, only time will really tell if they make it to male stage or if they just die as eggs like the other eggs have done. Only time will tell. But a few days later, I can now confirm that the queen isn't attacking the other workers anymore. When I'm looking at them, the one worker is still going insanely crazy, shaking her butt and going quite mental. I was scared that it was the queen, but when I lifted the nest up, I could see that the queen was just relaxing. Um, but we had this worker still going crazy, so I don't know if she's on her way out or what's happening, but all of them are still alive and I'm taking that as a good sign. But with that being said, that has been it for this video. I haven't even talked about the member lamp. And with a jump cut, I can say that it is purple and it's also been chosen by our Hall for Helper, Mr. Fabby. Thank you for the choice. And let's just bring all the members up because let's not look at the member lamp, look at all the members. Thank you to all the members and a special thank you to my Hall for family members. We have Medical Car Case, Simon, Casper, Kai, Anscapes, and lastly, Ants Norway. Yeah, I looked over on the screen because I can't remember them. Thank you to all the family members and thank you to all the rest of the members. And thank you for watching it till the end of the video. Man, has this video been emotional. And I really hoped I can show on the video how terrible I felt because I felt horrible. Especially the first night where I looked at the queen just because I was so sad when they got, uh, it's just, when Ant Antic said he had them, I got so happy. The day he sent them, I got so scared because I was scared I was gonna arrive and she was dead. When they arrived, there was one dead worker and I screamed inside as I couldn't see if it was the queen or not. As I officially saw the queen was alive, I was so relieved and I sent Antic the message and saying, oh man, she's alive, she's alive, she's alive. Then I added in all the workers, everything went well. And then the night, the queen got killed, except she didn't. Such an emotional roller coaster. But I want to say thank you for watching it to the end of the video. And I want to ask you, do you have Harpignathos Venators? Are you thinking of getting them or are you just scared of them? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, thank you to all the members. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Become a member today if you like. And I will see you all in another video. Bye!